In this video, I'm going to show you how to apply a coat of our micro cement. Now, I'm going to apply it to a pre-primed, moisture-resistant MDF board. If you watch our previous videos, we show you A, how to prime the board, and B, how to mix up the micro cement. All you're going to need for this application is something to get the micro cement out of your mixing bucket with. I'm going to use a trowel and something to apply it to the board nice and thinly and I'm going to use a micro cement spatula. So let's get started. The micro cement is applied very thinly. So as you can hear, you can hear the grains scratching against the board underneath. That's the type of pressure that you're looking for. When you're applying it this thinly, you can see that there are sort of scratch marks where the grains are dragging. That's really what you want to be looking for. That will give you the right thickness of material. If you apply it any thicker than the grain's thickness, you may run the risk of two things that being that you won't have enough coverage and b that it might end up cracking All of our micro cement kits have been weighed out and measured out according to a specific area. So this is a one square meter kit and I'm expecting it to more than cover this one square meter board. Remember, when you're applying the micro cement, to keep your trowel clean so that you can make the most out of the material. Also, once it dries on the tools, it's very difficult to get off. So we're almost done now. We've still got plenty left in the bucket. Okay, so that is the entire board covered. I mentioned before about there being 
sort of scratch marks where the grains have dragged. Now is the time to just gently work those over and fill in all those holes. You've applied it very thinly you've still got little bits to fill in any stubborn areas and like I say just keep keep working it and eventually all of those little areas will fill in There's plenty of pot life with the micro cement, so you don't have to rush. You can go at your own leisure. Final little bits out of the corners. And I, can, and I can fill in any stubborn little areas. So I'm happy with the application. I've covered the full square meter and I'm happy that any little areas where the scratches came through or the grains dragged scratches through, I've covered those. And we're now ready to leave this to dry. And then once it's dried, we can hit it with a sander and sand off any small high spots and then go on to the application of coat two. Thank you for watching.